Hi everyone, it's Erin. This is That's So Random. So, oh, hold on. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> Ooh, messy hair. Hi everyone, this is Erin and this is That's So Random. So today I am going to try and make my first ever corset with the, um, what is it called? Ariana Black. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I have a really hard time with names. Um, the Elverbus corset pattern that's free on her website. I have that link down below. Um, so I'm going to try and see if I can make it at a skill level. It's intermediate, so cross my fingers that I am actually an intermediate sewer. Um, but the only difference is that the busk, I'm not doing a busk. I'm not doing the closure in the front. I'm just doing the back because the pattern that I want to... What am I trying to say? The dress I want to make, uh, the the dress that I'm basing this off of, that's what I'm trying to say, uh, doesn't have the front closure. So I'm going to try and do this without a front closure. Um, I want to see, my proportions are a little different, so I'm, this is just going to be a trial and error. Um, yeah, so let's see how fun this jury is going to be. <laughs> Okay, so taking where the waist is and pulling it, it's not bad. It's, you know, I still have what, like maybe an inch and a half or so. Um, holding that and pulling the hips, um, I could probably take it in a little bit on the hips. So the hips aren't so tight, maybe, I haven't decided. But then I also have a lot of seam allowance too. Um, bust, bust is a little big, so I'm definitely gonna have to take that in. Um, whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to take the bust in a bit. I might shorten it too, only cause it's, you know, 
can't remember where I actually cut a lot of these pieces, but I definitely have to take the bust in a bit. The bust is a little big. Um, let's see if I pull it from the top. Yeah, bust is way too big. Even though I have extra up here, it's, I have to definitely take it in from the seams. So I might, on these two seams here, I might take it in a, uh, a size. Um, yeah, so I haven't decided if I'm going to make another video or just add on to this video the second mock-up that I make before I actually make the dress that I'm thinking about. Um, yeah. So, yeah. See, this is just too big here, even if I pull it. Yeah. So, definitely got to shorten, I think, the waist a bit. Shorten the, the pattern a bit to make it a little bit smaller. Definitely taking this the, the, the cups. So, yep. So, it's been a few months since I last did the corset uh, test, but I decided to shorten between the underbust and the waist um, because I realized that my waist was not at the right spot. It was higher up on my body, so I did that. Um, I'm going to make another mock-up. I got some grommet tape that I am uh, you're going to use for the back of the mock-up to make sure that it fits properly. Um, yeah, I'm hoping this one will work because I want to try and get this pattern to the right adjustment for myself. So my plan is to definitely take in the bust, lower the hips. Uh, I'll do that for the final mock-up. No, final... <sighs> so I'll make the alterations to the pattern. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make another mock-up. My plan is to make a petticoat, which will also be in this video for my next video, which will be based off a St. Patrick's Day look I want to do, but not what you think. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to make a petticoat. Uh, I've never made one before, so this is a fun video of me just trying to make things. Um, I'm wondering, I might add, um, might because I basted this in, I might take it out and put it in my original corset mock-up and see how that fits, because if, you know, I didn't do that. So I'm going to do that. And then we'll see if it looks better, I guess. If I should just stick with the original pattern. Um, yeah, but uh, we'll find out later. So let's get into making that petticoat. These are the measurements I've decided for my petticoat. I'm gonna do three tiers, uh, 33 inches that kind of tapers, but then goes down to fit my, my hips. And then I actually might make that bigger. So these are the measurements that, without seam allowance um, for the sides. Uh, the height I am I know I'm going to lose and I'm fine with that because of my total being uh, 45. Yes, 45. And it's going to be 40 or so inches when I'm done because of uh, the seam allowances and that's what I want. I still have to add seam allowances on either side to that. So that is my idea for making the petticoat. So I'm going to start making that. So I kind of had like a change of plans where I measured my bolt of fabric and it was of course fold in half so it was 46 inches. So I'm going to go 46 inches as like the base start. Um, I cut it in a way that all I have to do is sew up the like back seam or side seams or you know the seams that come together with the salvage edge so I don't have to finish those off I just have to press them and then I'm also doing uh front seams for where the skirt pieces actually connect horizontally so 
that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm doing I'm just sewing up everything I kept a seven inch gap no eight I kept an eight inch gap up above um because I'm gonna turn it in to make a um a casing for making a drawstring so yes so I'm sewing all the pieces together now Now that all my side seams have been sewn and pressed, um, the bottom of the ruffle is going to get hemmed. I'm going to create darts for the uh, upper uh, section uh, to kind of cinch it in just a little bit, not a lot, just, you know, to kind of help flare it out, I guess, a little bit more so it's not just uh, super thick up against my waist. And then once that's been darted, uh, folding it to make it into a casing for a waistband tie. So I'm adding large basting stitches to create the ruffle to get the middle skirt attached to the under the bottom piece of the top skirt I don't know but I'm doing large basting stitches so I can pull them and create pleats and I keep stacking myself so I'm going to do this for this one and for the lower ruffle so I on either side of the seam have two different strings, one on this side and then one on this side, so I can adjust it to the sides. And I'm going to do the same thing for when I do the lower half, where it's in quarters, so I'm going to do a quarter and then a quarter and a quarter. coat and the original mock-up with the lacing in it and I don't like where the hip or not the hip where the waist sits on this one um it is too low um I like where it is on the other one on the, the second pattern um I just need to extend from the waist to the hip to make that longer so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to alter the pattern again and do that for the final version. Um, I have put uh, some braiding in here for just to see how to make it fuller um, because it's a little limp to my to my liking. Um, the top for the original is also super loose so I do know that I'm altering that on the second pattern. Uh, yeah so this is the so this is the petticoat for my next video, which is going to be based off of uh, a green outfit to go with along the fact that it's March and St. Patrick's Day happens. So that's going to be a green outfit. 
why I'm going to have the petticoat for underneath the green outfit that I'm making. Um, hint, it is based off of an animated uh, look. Um, so I'm actually really excited for it. Um, yeah, so if you like this video and would like to stick around, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, and if you also like the video, go ahead and hit the like icon. And see you guys in March for my St. Patrick's Day look.